Welcome to my next tutorial on context managers. In a nutshell, a context manager is an object that can be used in a with statement and it ensures that certain operations are performed before and after a particular block of code is executed. This behavior is achieved by two special methods, enter and exit, that Python treats specially in the scope of with statement. Let's see first a very simple example. In this example, I'm opening myfile.txt with help of open function. The try finally block ensures that even if an unexpected error occurs, myfile.txt will be closed. Now I can also open the same file using with statement. The with statement was first introduced in Python 2.5. If you look at the code, there is no try finally block, and I didn't even close the file. But Python still closes myfile.txt regardless of whether reading or writing process on the file was successful or not. This is because the file object returned by open function is a context manager and its exit method ensures that the file will be closed after the with block is left, even if an error occurs while read write process. I can even check it by calling the closed attribute of my file pointer, which returns true. So enter and exit methods make any object a context manager. Context managers are used everywhere in Python, where startup or cleanup code needs to be executed. Examples are socket, saving and restoring various kind of global states, locking and unlocking resources in threading, etc. Now let's create our own custom context manager. My class log contains five methods. They are init, logging, reading, enter, and exit. The init method takes two arguments, object itself and file name. Where file name is the name of log file I want to open for reading and writing. The logging method writes the log message into the log file using build in write method. In my reading method, I call build in seek method to put the file pointer at the beginning of the file. And then I call the read method to read the content of the file. The enter method performs any required setup code, and in my case, I call the built in open function and then return self, which is then assigned to a variable after as keyword later in with statement. The second argument in open method A plus means that I'm opening the file in a pending mode, and the file pointer points at the end of the file. The exit method takes three arguments, an exception type, an exception instance, and a traceback. In a normal situation, they are all set to known. However, if an exception occurs inside the with block, they will be set to value related to the type, value, and traceback for the exception. This allows the exit method to do any cleanup code that may be required in case of error. In my example, I simply close the file regardless of whether an exception was thrown or not. I also print all three arguments if they are not equal to known, which is if an exception occurs. Now in which statement I call both logging and reading methods. If you look at the output, you can see Python has executed both enter and exit methods. Now in my next example, inside my with block, I raise an input output error exception. If you look at the output, Python has still executed the enter and exit methods. And the parameters of exit methods are set according to the value related to the type, value and traceback for the exception. I hope you have now basic understanding of context managers in Python. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.